while some states in India are busy building the tallest statues and others are racing to unveil the grandest temples, Tamil Nadu is quietly building a space launch pad. Yes, not another monument, a launch pad to space. In a coastal village called Kulasegarapattinam in Tutukudi district, this isn't just about rockets. This is about vision and about a state choosing science over symbolism, choosing future over spectacles. India already has one spaceport in Sri Arikota, Andhra Pradesh, but this will be India's second and first ever built from scratch in independent India. The ground was broken by Prime Minister Modi in February 2024. The launch pad is being built over 2,200 acres and it will be ready in just two years. Now you might ask, why build it in Tamil Nadu? Because geography matters. From Sri Arikota, every rocket has to take a curve mid-air to avoid flying over Sri Lanka. This will waste fuel, lowers the payload and adds risk. But from Kulasekarapattinam, you fly straight south over the ocean. No curve, no detour, less fuel, more payload, more efficiency. It's like switching from a narrow village road to a direct highway to space. This new launch pad is made for India's small satellite launch vehicles called SSLVs. These are rockets built for the future, fast, compact and cost effective. They will carry satellites for agriculture, weather, security and global telecom. The global small satellite market is expected to reach $13 billion by 2030. And with this new launch pad, India and Tamil Nadu is perfectly placed to become a global player. But this story goes beyond rockets because Tamil Nadu isn't just building a launch pad, it's building an entire space economy around it. The state is setting up a space industrial and propellant park nearby with over 2000 acres. Here companies will build engines, fuel systems, satellite parts and even reusable rockets. The government has already announced a space industrial policy with a goal to attract 10,000 crore rupees in investments and create 10,000 high skilled jobs. Private companies, global startups, engineers, scientists all converging in Kulasekarapattinam Tutukudi to build India's new gateway to space. And this didn't happen by accident. Tamil Nadu has always been a step ahead. Back in 1997, when most states didn't even know what IT was, Tamil Nadu launched India's first IT policy. Kalanja Karunanidhi introduced it. Tidal Park in Chennai became the launch pad for India's software exports. Today, the state leads in electronics exports, textile exports and industrial output. It's also home to ISRO's propulsion complex in Mahendragiri where India's rocket engines are tested. It has space research incubators in NIT Trichy and more than 250 space and aerospace component suppliers across the state. Now it's taking the next leap. Just think about the contrast. While some states spend 3000 crores on statues, Tamil Nadu is spending less than 1000 crores to build a spaceport that will bring global revenue, new industries, new jobs and fire the imagination of a generation. Because this isn't just about economy, it's about aspiration. For a school kid in Tutukudi, this isn't just a village anymore. It's a launch pad to ISRO. It's a launch pad to science. It's a launch pad to space. This will inspire young minds to study physics, build rockets, write code and dream of Mars. And for the country, this gives India a second spaceport 
so we can launch faster, more often and more competitively. ISRO says we will see 24 launches per year from here. That's 24 times a year. Tamil Nadu will help India touch the sky. While others carve gods out of stone, Tamil Nadu is building doors to the stars. Quietly, relentlessly, with vision, not vanity. And that's why this project matters. Because in the story of tomorrow, Tamil Nadu isn't just watching from your earth. It's helping write the future in rocket trails.